brain trauma is caused mostly by car accidents and sports. Severe brain trauma often results in swelling of brain cells, leading to elevated intracranial pressure that compresses blood vessels, causing reduced blood flow and limited oxygen supply to brain tissue. This may lead to disability or death. Current treatment is based on using an EVD that drains fluids from the brain ventricle to reduce pressure. When this method fails, the next step is decompressive craniectomy, the removal of a large portion of the skull. It allows brain tissue to expand and reduces pressure. Decompressive craniectomy is very risky, but often life-saving. Doing it when not necessary is as dangerous as not doing it when it is necessary. Today, the neurosurgeon does not have sufficient information to make an accurate decision. We at Syncath have developed a device that provides new parameters to facilitate such decisions. The device is both monitoring and therapeutic. The Syncath device includes the commonly used EVD and a balloon along the catheter that is controlled by a console. In monitoring mode, we use a single inflation every 10 minutes or so to cause a pressure response that we measure and analyze to calculate critical parameters for decision-making and patient management. One parameter that we measure is intracranial elastance that indicates whether the patient requires immediate treatment or may be left alone to heal. The other parameter we measure is cerebral blood flow. Estimation of blood flow through the brain indicates whether the therapy indeed helps the patient. In a therapeutic mode, our device treats the brain to increase blood flow and oxygen supply to the cells. In this mode, we inflate and deflate the balloon at every cardiac cycle. This acts in a similar manner to a pump inside the brain. It increases blood flow and oxygen supply to the brain cells. It is a life-saving device that may help to delay or avoid the need for high-risk craniectomy. It is expected to significantly affect the patient's long-term recovery and quality of life.